Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your mid-August to end of August. Will your ex return love readings? Um, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate all the comments that you guys write. I read them all. Uh, also, if it doesn't resonate with you, you can always get a personal reading with me by going to jenniferwalkerzen.com or checking the description box below. All right, I pre-shuffled the deck, and um, so we can get started right away. This side is you, and this side is your ex, okay? This is the situation surrounding your breakup. This is the current general situation of what's going on in romantic love life for both of you. This is how you both feel about each other. This is um, how you feel about a reconciliation. This is your advice about the reconciliation, and this is the outcome of the reconciliation, whether or not it will happen. Okay. So, and also the deck that I'm using currently for this is Golden Tarot by Kate Black. And the clarification will be done with the mini writer week. All right. So, in the past, it looks to me like the breakup was surrounding the other person because obviously you're a Capricorn, you're an Earth sign. This is a water sign. And by the way, if you look at the card, there's a Scorpio there. So, the other person you may have been with what may have been a Scorpio. So the breakout was because of the other person. For sure, because I see the other person there. And the reason surrounding it was you had some type of choice that you had to make. So that's how the breakup happened. Uh, and currently, you want to take a leap of faith. Maybe you want to try something new, or maybe you just you know, you, you feel like you just want to, you know, although I'm kind of looking at this card and I'm seeing this card look at the past and maybe you still want to take a leap of faith to the past. Maybe you still want to get back with your ex because the eyes are, you know, on the queen of cups. What's going on with your, your ex currently? Uh, it's something involved their maybe spiritual nature, their life path. Um, it could be involving surrounding marriage in the current situation. Or a Taurus. Hmm. But the thing that draws me on this card for your ex, I'm looking at the person's hand with the ring. And I don't know why that's drawing me to that, but I'm going to have to do some more clarification just to see. Hmm. Maybe it is surrounding marriage. I don't know because I'm, I'm seeing the, the ring there. Okay, let's keep going. Plus it has a five on it. Something about change. Okay. How do you feel about your ex? Ooh. So you feel the Ten of Swords. You feel hurt. Uh, you felt like they were really coming at you. You see this dog right here? Like, it looks like the dog's barking at this person. And it's like, not only do they have the swords in here, but the dog's barking at them. Or, you know, or the wolf or whatever this, this animal is here. Maybe it's a wolf. Maybe it's, you know, about to eat it. Um, and then for some reason, I'm looking down here, I know these are probably rocks, but they look like spiders or something. It seems like it was surrounding, you're still feeling very negative and very hurt about what happened. Okay, let's see how your ex feels about you. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of major arcanas here. For sure, you got the full, um, you know, you got the Hierophant and you have now the High Priestess. It's interesting. Um, we'll see how that plays out. A lot of times, uh, uh, when you have a lot of major arcana, it's beyond your control. They have a high priestess. Now, maybe she sees you as, you know, holding secrets from her or him. Um, I'm sorry I said her because it's the high priestess, so I see it's a female. But maybe this, uh, it has a lot to do with secrets, uh, not knowing what's beyond the veil. Uh, higher knowledge, intuition. Maybe they also see you as having really great intuition. Um, I see a cat here. So also, they may think you love cats as well. All right, or you, 
Yeah, the ex sees you as someone who loves cats. And maybe uh, you read a lot of books. Um, okay, let's keep going. And it's interesting here too also, by the way. This little cane that she has, I don't know what that's called. I forget at the moment. And then you see the higher front also has the same thing and it's, it's matching. So it's interesting. Let's keep going. All right, how do you feel about a reconciliation? Hmm. You're wondering if this is worth fighting for. You're wondering if you should just walk away or you should just stand your ground. You're not exactly sure, you're uncertain. But I do feel like you wanna hang in there and see what happens. Because the only reason I say that is because the dog is here. And the dog is very relaxed and it doesn't seem like the dog wants to go anywhere. And there's a light here that I'm looking at. And it looks like you feel like, and what I'm getting is, you feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm hearing. A light at the end of the tunnel. And then I'm looking up here and I see these hills. And it looks like there's potential for, and this light here, that there, even though you went through all that pain, that there is a silver lining to it all. Okay, how does your ex feel about a reconciliation with you? Hmm. Looks to me like they're worried, they're anxious about it, uh, they're in their head about it. Um, it seemed like maybe that they got hurt too, in a way, because, you know, it seems like they're up at night thinking about it. Hmm. What is your advice? Your advice is to take control of your situation. Your advice is to, you know, you, you have all the tools that you need to move this forward, okay, for the reconciliation. Let's do some clarification, and then um, we'll use the oracle cards for the final card. Okay, why is the queen of cups here? Use your intuition. Intuition, oh wow, it matches there again. Yeah, I would say that matches your, your ex, for sure. Scorpios are all, or even a water sign, could be a water sign in general, it may not even be a Scorpio, but you know, they have very good intuition. Uh, water signs in general have very good intuition. And let's just get another card on that. And that's interesting. Or there were secrets here. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Maybe uh, your ex got another offer, a better offer, or maybe she felt like you, or he felt like you did. Uh, and there was uh, some issues surrounding that. That's interesting. Okay, why does your ex have the Two of Swords? Why does your ex have Two of Swords? Oh, okay, that wanted to come out. Okay. They're focused in on the past hurts. There was a, a decision that was made, a mental clarity about surrounding love. Love, uh, maybe, maybe children. Um, yeah, but there was definitely, they were hurt. They got a mental clarity about it and they made a decision of surrounding love. Okay, so why do you... That's why I find out why you up, oh, and then also that card wanted to pop up too, so just now. So there was a decision that was made. Why is there a full card that's here for Capricorn? Oh, okay. Something is out of balance. So you're taking a leap of faith because you feel like your romantic love life's out of balance. Okay. Why is the Hierophant here? Show me a card I need to see. Okay, thank you. Okay. So the Hierophant's here because someone walked away from a solid situation. Uh, the Emperor could stand for a bodily figure, someone who's controlling. Um, 
So that's what's going on in the present situation. Maybe your your ex has an opportunity for something more serious, but I'm not sure if they took it because the clarification says that walk, they walked away from something more serious or something that was controlling where they debated on whether or not this was worth it. Okay, let's keep going. Why is... I mean, I really don't need to know why you feel that way because you obviously felt hurt because there was a, a breakup here. There was a decision for a breakup and probably because your ex felt as though there was something surrounding an offer on your end that she or he did not know about. And the other thing that I'm drawn upon in this since this came up is there's a lack of balance here. Okay. Okay, why do you feel this Five of Swords? Thank you. So you felt like you felt like something was unhealthy. Maybe you're surrounding communication. Okay. Even though you feel like something's unhealthy or out of balance or, you know, something's not good. I feel like you still want to take an action, but then you are, it's like, it's like a contradiction. There's the Knight of Swords here, but then there's the waiting. So it's exactly what I thought. It's like you're, you kind of want to walk away, but then you kind of see as, as I was told, uh, the light at the end of the tunnel. So there's definitely mixed things going on here. Okay. Why does your ex feel the Knight of Swords? about the reconciliation. How did your ex feel the Knight of Swords? Thank you. They're worried about what's going to happen with this offer. Okay. Why is your advice the magician? Okay. Alrighty. Uh, there's a lot of cards here. Um, hmm. Okay. So we have the Hierophant, uh, understanding the higher purpose, going within. Then we have emotionally, something is offered, but someone doesn't want it. And then someone's wounded. Maybe that, that's probably why they don't want it, because they were wounded in the past. Um, maybe they're, they're focused on finance at this point. That's, they feel that's going to make them happy. And then you know, the Wheel of Fortune, so uh, something will turn in your favor in the end. Okay, lots of cards. I'm going to probably get one card just to give me a little bit more clarity. Okay, why is the Magician here? Give me one card, please. Ancestors, Guardian Angels. Thank you. Communicate. <laughs> give a message that you're in control and Uh, talk about what you're feeling about the situation. Communicate. Take control of the situation. You have all the tools you need to take control of the situation. Okay, that's clear. What's the outcome? Wow. Holy crap. Okay, the outcome's Ten of Cups. So even though there's all this going on, this is interesting, even though there's all this going on, potentially... You're wanting to take a leap of faith. Your ex walking away from other situations. Although they're worried. It looks like you may have extended the offer here. I mean, we're talking mid-August until late uh, August. So let's just get more clarity on this Ten of Cups. Not that I really want to. I, love, I would love to stop reading right now. Why is there a Ten of Cups here? Okay, there was an offer. All right, awesome. And then, by the way, at the bottom of the deck, it was the sun card, which is happiness. That's awesome. That's awesome. So what does the Ten of Cups stand for? Emotional fulfillment, uh, family, celebration, uh, happiness, and, wow, babies. Okay, family. Building a family together. Okay, let's get... um some romance angels on this outcome. 
Okay, and I'm using Doreen Virtue, the Romance Angels, for clarification on this. All right. I don't know why I want to ask, but why is there the Ten of Cups here? Why the Ten of Cups? For Capricorn, Summon and Rising, why is the Ten of Cups here? Thank you. Oh, saying flirt. That's great. So, um, I would uh, that would make sense because this is whole communication thing. You have all the tools that you need. Even though there's all this wary anxiety, you know, weeding around, not sure if you should take action. Sure, you should take action. That's interesting. Okay, give me some general advice for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising from mid August into the end of August 2018. Show me what I need to know. Show me what I need to know. Show me what I need to know. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Thank you. Believe and trust. That's great, Capricorn. By the way, that was Archangel Michael, again by Doreen Virtue. And one more card. Capricorn, someone arising. What do I need to know? What do I need to know? What do I need to know? Thank you. Oh, going for it. Oh. Ask your angels. So, pray on this. Um, really make a solid decision and communicate because you have all the tools you need to make this reconciliation happen okay capricorn i hope that you enjoyed your reading have a great month of august i love you guys if you like this please like and subscribe thank you guys again for all the comments and if this does not resonate with you you can always get a personal reading with me at jenniferwalkerzen.com or you can look at the description box below thank you guys